Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, it seems an eventuality that Ben Askren would one day find his way to the UFC. Did that with a big win over Robbie Lawler in his UFC debut, and now the focus on continuing to climb that crowded welterweight line. Ben Askren is a unique talent because he does not look like the type of guy that you would find in an octagon. But every time he steps foot in there, he has no doubt he's going to get his hand raised, which is what he has done his entire life. You look at Ben and you know what's coming. He's going to wrestle you, he's going to take you down, he's going to make you grapple more than you're comfortable with. But can Ben Askren employ that wrestling game plan all the way to a UFC championship? We will see. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ben Funky! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs and Boris Chibayev. And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? myself thinking this arena right now, two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Ground and pound strike is true. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Landed a good uppercut there. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. And he's going for the choke now. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Nicely done. 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bach. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Deep breath in. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. Are you ready? Are you ready? Round two here. Sneaky head kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, uh, single collar tie here. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So he's got his head here, looking to set up the guillotine choke now. On guillotine. I need you to get a hand. And he's out. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Triangle. triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. And he's out. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Couple hammer fists there for good measure. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, 
Unbelievable strike. to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. All right, getting late in the fight, it has been all action to this point as we go down the wire. Could be anybody's fight. Anybody's fight, both of these guys prepared very well for this competition, and it showed in such a tremendous fight. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, he has stayed busy, and he double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. I mean, how many can he take? They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Ben Funky! Congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision. Don't you know everything live now? If it ain't put it to rest.